Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I have five vintage pens in my collection and four of them I actually got as a gift from my neighbor Tina. Um, the first one that you see here is a Pelican 140 and that is the only pen that I bought myself. I bought that on eBay. Um, but the other four I actually got from my neighbor Tina and you might remember her backyard from my July Currently Inked video. Uh, I told her that I had started a YouTube channel dedicated to fountain pens and she told me that she had some in storage that she was happy to give to me. Um, so I was so excited as you can imagine. Um, and after doing some research online, I decided to send them over to Pentiques, um, Aaron at Pentiques.com. And about a month later, they came back to me fully restored and um, you are watching me currently inking all of my vintage pens. Um, so this video is gonna be about me just going over each one and then I'll provide some writing samples at the end as well. Now this first pen is the Pelican 140 and I bought this after watching one of Karina's videos from Karina Loves to Plan. She shared that this was her first vintage pen and I admired it so much and I wanted a Pelican of my own. And so I promptly looked on eBay and was able to score one for myself and I love it so much. It's a really wet, smooth writer and I have Karina to thank. So thank you, Karina. Now the next four pens are all gifts from Tina. And this first one is a Schaefer Lady Lifetime Balance in the color Carmine Red. As I was looking online and doing some research, I thought, is it Carmine Red or is it Rose Glow? Because um, I'm, as I'm looking at it now, it kind of has more of that Rose Glow look. But then in some of my other footage, it looks like it's definitely more Carmine Red. But you let me know what you think. Um, at any rate, I just absolutely love this color. It's gorgeous. It's probably the thinnest grip section out of all the pens that I have, and it's a beautiful writer. Now this next pen is the Parker 51 Aerometric, and this happened to be Tina's favorite pen, and this is the one that she used the most often. The others in her collection, she kind of kept in storage, but this one she used on a regular basis. Um, I see why she loved it so much. Um, I can be able to write with it at almost at any angle, even almost upright and it's got a really juicy wet nib. Next up is a Parker Lady Duo Fold in the jade color. And looking online and doing some research, I believe this is probably my oldest pen. Um, it looks like, well, the research says that it was probably produced in the late 1920s. Um, so this has got to be almost 90 years old. It's beautiful, I love this bright green color, and it's probably the smallest one out of the bunch. This is probably my second oldest pen. It's the Parker Duo Fold Senior in the color Burgundy. And sources online say that this is produced in the early 1930s. Uh, this is probably my thickest or my broadest nib. It might even be like a, a stub nib, um, but it's, it writes beautifully and it's, it's got a bit of a firm feel to it. I'll be using the Kakimori brass nib and I am mounting it on the Tachikawa comic nib holder. Um, it is beautiful in that unlike the glass tip pen, there is a ton of line variation um, and it has uh, a high ink capacity. I am inking all my pens in the Parker Quink ink in blue black and uh, Aaron from Pentiques recommended that I used Parker Quink ink to fill all of my vintage pens. And if you have any other recommendations, please let me know in the comment section. I would like to be able to fill these pens with different colored inks as well. That would be safe for vintage pens. First up is the Pelican 140, and I have it in double F nib uh, because that's what was written on the nib. However, um, as I'm looking online, it was either meant to be extra fine or it was just a typo that it was supposed to be a single F instead of a double F. Um, if you have any information, if you happen to know what the deal is with the double Fs, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear any information you might have. I absolutely love this writer. Um, in fact, it's probably one of my favorites. Um, it has a beautiful flex to the nib and it lays the ink down with just a beautiful color variation. You can see lights and darks in the blue-black ink. 
Now the Schaefer Lady Balance in the Carmine Red color. It's probably the finest writer um, out of my vintage pen collection. Um, and I like, I like it in that it's precise. There isn't any flex. There's no line variation. It's very reliable in, in the line quality itself. Um, and as you can tell, with each pen, the, the ink looks and behaves differently. Um, and I think that's what's just so beautiful is you can put the same ink in each pen and the experience and the feel changes from pen to pen. So this is one of my other favorite writers. Um, you could see that it just, just puts down a lot of ink. Um, I couldn't tell if this was a medium or a broad. Um, it didn't say on the pen. However, it definitely writes, it could write like um, a Japanese broad, that's for sure. Um, really smooth. And I think it's partly because Tina wrote with this all the time. So it's well loved, it's well used, um, and it felt very smooth. And the thing about this pen too is that I was able to write it at multiple angles. And I tend to hold my pens, not my fountain pens, but I tend to hold all my writing implements um, a little bit more upright. And this pen had no problem with that. Now this is the smallest pen that I have in the Vintage Pen Collection, and it's the Parker Lady Jade Duo Fold. Now I wrote that it writes like a medium nib, um, so if the Schaefer pen is my finest nib, um, then this would probably be my second finest writer out of the Vintage Pen Collection. Um, it doesn't have any flex. Uh, I would say the Pelican 140 has a ton of flex, um, but this one, like the Lady Schaefer, is more of a firm writer, and uh, it's really dependable, really reliable, and I actually like the feedback that it provides. Um, it, you know, it just gives you a really tactile experience as you write. Last but not least is my Parker Duo Fold in the color burgundy. Now, as I had mentioned, um, it feels like a, a stub nib. Um, because it's got a little bit of a calligraphic quality to it. It reminds me of the calligraphy nib that I currently have in my Pilot Metropolitan, but it's not as wide or not as broad as that calligraphy nib. So maybe it's a 1.0 stub nib, I, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I love it. Um, it's not as smooth a writer as the Parker Aerometric, but it's definitely wet. Um, it has a little bit more feedback and uh, it's got a real sturdy feel. Now, if you'd like to watch my July Currently Inked video, uh, the link is here below. And then also, if you'd like to see my non-vintage fountain pen collection, the video is here as well. Thanks for watching, bye.